Hello everybody, Forest Month is here again. Now about, about Park River Mini Aurora. I mentioned the knife a couple of times and uh, firstly I want to tell you reason why I bought uh, the knife. As I said, all the knife I'm trying to put into system, in my system. I don't want to have, say, many, many, I would say hundreds, hundreds of knives uh, with the same purpose for me even I like uh, knives so you know after time it will be a waste of money and uh, simply you don't need them so if someone give give me uh, the knives some knives I mean for testing then of course I will do it but uh, I don't want to I don't want to buy any any knife or every knife on the world so uh, all my knives are in a system and uh, Bark River Mini Aurora wasn't exception. Uh, I'll show you now way of my uh, my thinking. Gurkha Kukri, Bark River Mini Aurora, and as I said, I got always one of my tracker with me. Now T4, the smallest. Of course, I can have I can have different combination. Say without the Kukri, with Machete and the bigger bigger version of, of the tracker but uh, you know uh, the traditional cookeries got small knives in the in the she actually one one of them should be knife and second is like steel for honing the knife so i don't have a steel but this is like a combo these two knives see they're very very small very light 100 grams each I mean, average is 100 grams. One of them is a little bit over, I think, the Mini Aurora. And uh, T4 tracker is a little bit under. I'm not sure, Some, somewhere like that. So very close, very close. So I got small handy knives, plus one really big knife for, for example, everything. So I, want, I got a chopper, I got a splitter, I got a fighting knife, if I say, I got a machete kind of you know you know what i mean and then then i got a knife for easy task this one i said for most most of time for food prep this is a crafting crafting knife carving knife or food prep this is the best knife all these i mean from these uh for food preparation and of course this one is uh, the, the Reason why, why I got this one in the system is the saw and this rounded rounded edge, so nice belly say for skilling and simply for another task even as a as a backup. These all together weights, I mean just knives weights about eight hundred grams, which is okay. If I if I count the sheet uh, sheets, these two knives with with the sheets, it will be. Uh, about uh, two pounds include uh, the cookery without sheet with a sheet it will be a bit over I don't know I don't know the weight of the sheet for the cookery so it will be over one kilo but it is not that much if you if you if you think what what everything you can have with this with this small setup you know as, as a knife as I said this basically you don't need anything else I mean, so we like the knife, sometimes I'm, I'm changing, but uh, this is the system I'm working now. Well, Mini Aurora, it is made of CPM3V, I think it is there, yeah, CPM3V. And uh, I will put the details in my room, but I think it's less than four inches blade, it's nine and a half. Nine and a half centimeters somewhere there you see this is kind of wood i don't know what kind of wood was this one actually to be honest i don't really care that much you see the nice liners everything is nice i was a little bit you know hyped to buy a wooden handle a knife which i don't do usually now if, when i'm thinking i will buy probably my carda handle uh, not because I'm not happy with that, but uh, I'm a bit worried about the handle than about the micarta handles because they, they are they should be probably better. But uh, I mean for for <laughs> durability. 
but uh, there is nothing wrong with uh, with handle. Uh, the knife itself, it looks like you know basic design is a kitchen knife. Well, you know, I think there is nothing to say. This like kitchen knife, and so many guys said this is a very practical knife. Let's say the Aurora. Uh, this is mini Aurora, as I said. So I'm really there. See how close I'm. I'm need a blade. It's great. It is kind of, you know, this is like saber grind. There is a flat, you see that flat part, and then, then it is, uh, it is in convex. Somebody says it is not really convex, and I feel it is convex. But but the real edge wasn't in convex. It is. It definitely wasn't. Uh, it was kind of, you know, like there was a secondary bevel. So I put it into into convex and it was sharp but surprisingly uh, not that sharp as uh, we are expecting from Bark River. I don't know why. So there is maybe you see the the silver line like like from that from the secondary bevel which I did. So I tried to put it real in, into convex. It, it sliced, of course, but not like like I have expected. I had a bigger knife with better better edge. Now it is much better. So reason for for that why I bought the knife the knife is as I said kind of normal edge and this tip. It is great for carving. Definitely, this is not a chopper and a splitter and whatever. This is carver or slicer, definitely. So. I will use it in this way, 3.3 millimeters, as I said, it has a sharp, sharp 90 degree, 90 degrees spine. Let's check it out. Yes, yes, you can see. Can see it even on the blade. So you can make uh, sparks with the knife, which could be important for someone. Well, now about about carving. This could be kind of willow, as I know. Maybe not. Not sure, but 90% is fresh, so it is soft wood. It is not some, something hard. Even this is this this branch is, is hard. I mean dried. So as you can see, as a chopper, it is not exactly the best chopper. Just one take off these. So there is a small couple of small small branches. One was definitely not something. This one will be probably the best way. Yeah, as you can see. It can slice nicely. So, as we can see, this it is not definitely a uh, chopper, just point and balance, which is may, maybe not important on this knife, but it's, it's very close. Uh, as a Lion Steel M5 and DPX has four, got the same point of balance, so there is some kind of you know, well, it chops, it chops. Well, really, it chops. I was surprised. So uh, I'm sorry. I put the, I put the camera a little bit down now, so you will not see my face. You will hear me, but you will see what I'm doing here, which is more more important. Can you see that? Not really. Still, yes. So interesting. Interesting. So maybe this is dried, dried piece of tree. As you can see, 
here it slice nice making like a little bit flat part so for this thing it was great well what about something bigger I know it is not important in the knife but just you can see ability of the knife that's that, that's why I'm doing it so we got one centimeter thick piece of let's say soft wood yes it went through I will not say easy as you can see but uh, it definitely can do can do the job If I want to have bigger, I need to I need to chop off big, big place, big piece of wood. Quite easy, very nice, very nice. Going a little bit to to the wider part of this branch. It is two centimeters about now. It's point eight of inch. Excellent, beautiful. There's no 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 problem here. It looks like we low. And now the thickest part of the branch, which is definitely one inch. Nicely done. So definitely you can do it. I think uh, one inch, one inch, uh, even one from one to, to two inches <coughs> which is about that you can baton through but this is as I said 3.3 millimeters thick blade so I will not try to do it many times uh, but definitely if you are somewhere around the inch say two and a half centimeters three centimeters just like this one which is enough for what do you need if you if you say if you carve uh, a spoon that will be not probably wider than four centimeters which is still significantly uh, like thinner than two inches the one centimeter so it is 1.8 1.8 of an inch just some not important not that important but this is first time I'm doing this one in the outside I mean these things with this knife so I use it as a slicer basically that's that's important Nice, that, that was nothing really. Uh, um, I bought the knife as a slicer, as I said, and for using the tip for for food prep. So that that's that's great for when you when you if, if you can grab the knife like this one, use it use the tip and uh, uh, or, or the, the the belly here, not, not the really big belly. So just. I'm holding the knife in normal, normal handling. I can use whole power, or or I will put the thumb on the top for more control slices. So something like this one. It was just you know just like game. But uh, what for is the is the tip good? Also, as we know, uh, willow willow bark contains uh, part of aspirin, which is uh, you know if you, if you want to have put put down your fever, then it is good to make a tea from the uh, willow willow bark willow bark. Sorry. So that's why I'm using the tip and this is basically the task same I can work with the with the birch bark uh, same as a leather leather I mean if I, if I say work with the leather 
I can make a squares, you know, corners simply and use the tip in this way, which is good. I can't do it with the, say, with the tracker because the belly there, if the belly a little bit destroys the, the, the work, what I, what I want, I want to have the tip there and simply use the tip like this one. This tip is better for it. So I got this one, I got this one here. As you can see, I am on, under the under the bark. It was a little bit, a little bit more deep than I wanted. Yeah, it is. It is. It is below now. So, and I got a, I got a bark here, and I can make a tea for treating my fever if I need it from from this. So that's that's something why I want to have the tip. Even now, as you can see, this is just the game, you know. But the reason I want to have that nice, sharp, pronounced tip is I can pierce material and go simply through it so for example like like here you know this is this is the game but imagine if you need to do it some say in in the leather even with in in a bark so that's that's important so you can do it with a knife like this one of course you can do it with a more belly knife but uh, it will be uh, a bit harder so, about the slicing. This is fresh wood, as you can see. So, it will be definitely not the best. Do it for fire starting. But uh, as a start, uh, as a, as a, Okay, that was the one, that was the one. And have a look if there will be any dry wood. will be here. So this is dry wood, as you can see. So if I need these shavings, Then I can definitely have it. If I put if I put some some bandana under that or whatever my my hat, something and just will I will collect these shavings. Then I can start the fire with them. So this is this is dry wood. So as you can see on fresh wood on fresh wood even or dry wood dry wood it, it is working. So, I'm gonna make a trap. Okay, I'll, I'll make it in, in, in two ways. First way will be just carving. There is a hazelnut also, I, I believe it will work very close on a fresh hazelnut like on, on this willow. Hazelnut is a little bit sturdy, but it's fresh so it's not that a big problem. So this is it, this is by using a normal way, if I say this way, just, just carving. And now of course I can have it, or I can do it in this way
course for food preparation this one could be excellent it is maybe short for if you're slicing bread but if you really need to slice your bread if you got some some really big one you can do it by your cookery if you got this one or even with uh, some simply uh, bigger blade so there is there it is this is the second one so it is working nicely well what about what about drilling Must be somewhere the other side. See it nearly there. See that? really interesting and not I'm not I'm not still there because I should be somewhere here yes so I'm there
So let's say I need I need to drill through some wood from whatever reason. Or I will carve my spoon for example so I can make the hole in the end of the handle for some flushing. Just protect it for loose. So I'm there. And as you can see, it isn't it is the pin. You know. So uh, this is one from the reason I want this this kind of tipped knife. It, it don't need to be exactly this knife. I mean, I mean, I mean the, that expensive knife. But uh, that's that's really that's really nice nice thing. You can really do some. Fine slices. Very fast, very nice. So uh, it is just just a short video for this great knife. I mean, the ability of the knife if you use it, if you use it properly. I mean, I mean, of course you can go through, you can go through the stick like this one. Just use use the. Is the normal way, of course, to go around and then just simply break it. We are nearly there. So you can do it. You can do it nicely, as you can see. So knife, the knife can serve in many purposes as, as a backup knife, as a as a kitchen knife, as a carving knife, as a as a part of survival kit, as an EDC because it is too small and very light, 100 grams somewhere. So it's very light. Um, about the sheet, I made this one with the Kydex sheet, sheet for it. I can't buy uh, the Bark River sheet; it was sold out. So, and definitely they had, I think, only only a black color. So I want to have this one. I got a tech log there, so it is easy to have it, to have it there. And it is just fastly made. Maybe I'll make another one uh, better. This is just fastly made. I have no time really to do the sheets and everything because I'm quite busy but uh, if, if I see some knife which which uh... sorry guys now like I can put it here you can see uh, the knives uh, which I like to use with not and not uh, I don't, I don't say with a with a unfunctionally unfunctional or or wrong or something like that sheet because the leather sheet which you can see in my room uh, for the Bark River Mini Aurora is is good is nothing wrong with it just I don't like it in it's, it's too too big you know for the size as, as I made this this one I, I I'm seeing I seen now a little bit overbuilt also so I will I will make smaller sheet than this one is and this one is in thinner in profile and I think it's quite uh, it's, it's a little bit lighter than, than the one even with the tech lock, but I'm, I'm not sure now I'm Not sure now, but it's very close But as a, as a this one is more versatile because you can have the one only you can keep it in, in This position and I can rotate my my tech lock and put it in way way I want it. Um, I will speak about the price this knife is one from the most expensive knife in my collection, uh, even if it's 
one from the smallest i think it's, it's after after that uh, tracker t4 uh there is i got the blackjack 155 the small one and i would have this one and then then is probably this so it's really from the smallest one so but in the price this is really expensive knife and uh, it is made from cpn 3d but uh, you know for for such small piece of the steel it is it's 20 20 centimeters it is i don't know so two and one inch wide 3.3 millimeters so it's kind of you know piece of steel like this one and a uh, couple of also this wood you know is it is nice but it is still just piece of wood you know it's nothing really really special so leather sheet is usually uh, cheaper and is not wrong as i said just just it is my way but uh, you can buy nearly these two t4s for the price of the of the of the mini aurora which is seems to me quite quite um, not good as i said it is really really expensive so i don't i don't understand exactly why it is that expensive i think it cost me same as a tracker t3 uh, from 154 cm which is chunk of steel compared to that one and 154 cm isn't the super steel but is is better than many of them yeah uh, just just uh, uh, just uh, now because i uh, see i want to show you something just for basic slices if you just comparing mini aurora and t4 So just you can see you can see how easy these knives slice. The mini Aurora is a little bit thinner. Oh, no, oh, maybe maybe, maybe now they are they are the same. But uh, because the hook here, you you need to like push the knife because you, you can't do the slice as a uh, Aurora can do. You can you can you know slice. So. That's, uh, that, that's important. That's, that's something different in in uh, between these two knives. So if I want to have, and of course this one got smaller handle, so it's, it is not not that comfortable to use it, but it is smaller. So so it has it has some some benefits from the design. Just just uh, for information, I forget it. Uh, so Mark River Aurora Mini Aurora, great knife. But as I said, it's very expensive. It cost me more than than this knife. And if, if you, you know, if you take the size, well, you, you know what I mean. It is, it is, um, it's hard, hard. Why, why these small knives are so expensive? I mean, most of the knives from Bark River, the small one, are fucking expensive. Sorry about the about the word, but. Uh, it is it is really you know i don't know i, I don't understand why even you know uh, i bought the mini aurora i think it was 270 270 us dollars and 350 us dollars was the was the bark river tracker and if you imagine that that's a huge piece of steel a huge piece of steel with nicely finished, you know, everything same company. So there is a, there is a micarda bigger and everything. Lots of material means lots of work on it and everything. So simply more more meat, as I said, more work, more details, and it costs just uh, say thirty percent more than this one. Well, so it's, uh, there is definitely m m more options what you can buy for that 270 US dollars if you, if you can buy if you want to buy some small I say bushcraft or crafting knife there is plenty plenty of choices and uh, maybe the blackjack 155 made of 154 cm with a I think it made Bark River company is making the knife for blackjack so that that could be a great choice because it is a little bit smaller it's similar size as a, as a T3 a T4 tracker 
but with the same convex edge nicely sharp nice tip there I, I'm using it in my in my workshop if I'm working with the leather and everything so I use it for slices so that's great and just what I say what I want to say you can buy three of that knives for one this so that's that's really something thank you for your attention have a nice time and see you next time bye